EA shuts down Visceral Gaming, WPA2 has been successfully broken and the new trailer for emerges for the Black Panther movie. I am Ninja Noxai and this is Ninja News. First off, as stated before, EA has shut down Visceral Gaming. Announced earlier this week, EA has decided that it will shut down its Visceral Games studio, which has developed such games like Battlefield Highline and most notably the Dead Space series. Before closure, the studio was working on a Star Wars single player game set in the style of the Uncharted series. However, the closure with this closure, EA will be restructuring the game where it will make the game into its own brand. No further comments have been made outside of what they'll be doing uh, with the Star Wars game from EA itself. My thoughts on this. EA seems to have this really, really bad habit of shutting down game studios and have in the past produced some absolute stellar games for the gaming community, uh, just for the sake of profit. Uh, sure, they're allowed to do that as the nature of business uh, entails, but in reality, they really need to allow studios to prosper and uh, just not buy them up and then shut them down when they see fit. However, this is my opinion, uh, highly doubt EA will just listen to someone like me. Nonetheless, it is just sad to see a closure like this happen, and I hope the game that was in development still gets the love it deserves in the future. Next up on the docket, as stated before, this is big news, WPA2 has had its encryption exposed with successful attacks. With news from iMac DistriNet uh, this week, WPA2 has finally had its encryption successfully exploited and sensitive data on the networks using this will be uh, being readable by the right tools. The attack method, CRACK, standing for Key Reinstallation Attack, forces the users to resync the handshake in which they send back the, through the password to the wireless to connect to the network. Even though this sounds the same as a man in the middle attack, the difference is the attacker doesn't have to pretend to be an access point to spoof the network, which makes the network seem to work as normal and the user would not know that they have been compromised. The good news about this, as it runs on the same principles as the man in the middle attack, the attack would have to be in close proximity to the network to attack itself, so users could potentially spy a threat to the network. Furthermore, all manufacturers of network hardware as, device, as well as devices that are more susceptible to the attack are expected to release an update in the upcoming weeks to months to plug holes in its security systems. My thoughts on this. Now, before I begin, I do not condone these kinds of attacks as they are illegal unless you have got the licensing and the permission from the company or personal agencies to perform this kind of penetration testing. This is both a positive and negative for the computer, networking and gaming community as a whole. Yes, your devices are more susceptible to these kind of attacks. But the fact that this exploit was not only found but published, you can safely assume that any provider of hardware that relies on WPA2 encryption will plug this hole making your network devices more secure. No technology can be flawless forever, which is nice to see that we're helping make wireless encryption more um, secure by finding exploits like these. Last news on the docket, the new Black Panther trailer has dropped showing off more of Wakanda. Released right at the start of this week, the full trailer for the upcoming movie gives us a more in-depth look at not just Wakanda, but the people and the technology around it. With Chadwick Boseman, Martin Freeman, and Andy Serkis reprising the roles, the cast is a mainly black cast, which makes it the most diverse movie from the Marvel Studios to date. Furthermore, with this, there was a poster release, as well as the release date dropped as well, to be slated at February 16th next year. My thoughts on this. Now, last week we saw The Last Jedi's minimalist approach to a trailer, but this time we had a more expansive uh, trailer drop for a movie. From the Marvel camp, I applaud them for this, as well as making the movie accurate to comics as need be, it gives you just enough to set your appetite for this. Furthermore, Wakanda has always been more technologically advanced, so making this as accurate to the comics is great, and people being skeptical about it should really look into the history of Wakanda in the Marvel comics. Furthermore, if you're going to hate on this because it doesn't have as many white people, diversity, as they would say, I think your priority is wrong because you're not actually understanding how the movie is meant to be hate as a whole.
And that's it for Ninja News this week. Like, comment, subscribe below, and I hope to all hell you all have a good week this week. I will be back next week for some more Ninja News, hopefully also some wrap-ups of packs that I will be attending in the upcoming week. In the meantime, I hope you have a good week. Catch you in streams, and I'll catch you next time.